Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss hydraulic cylinder cushioning. In the hydraulic cylinders, particularly in the double acting cylinders, when the piston is moving inside the cylinder, at the end, if it is moving with a full speed, there is an impact force on the cylinder heads. Okay, in order to avoid that one, the impact force at the cylinder head, the cylinder cushioning arrangement is provided and that will reduce the damages to the cylinder heads and thereby the operation will become say smooth. And here I am going to discuss how that cushioning is provided to the these hydraulic cylinders. Here there is an arrangement for this one, the cylinder head cushioning. There the normally when the fluid uh, the piston is moving towards the head, the fluid is passing through the normal path. And when that whatever the piston is there, that will having the plunger at its end, which is of tapered shape. When it is moving, the exhaust flow passes freely out of the cylinder until the plunger enters into the cap. Until the plunger enters the cap. When the plunger enters, Okay, up to the tapered portion, there is a restricted path for the flow of the fluid. And later onwards, there is another path through which the fluid is flowing. Through which the fluid is flowing. And due to that restricted path, the fluid movement is there. That will be slowed down. The piston is slowed down. Now, the flow must be take restricted path causing the piston to decelerate. The rate of deceleration is controlled by the, this adjustable opening. Here there is a screw of adjustable opening and what the uh, flow rate is required and that is decides the rate of slowing or deceleration. And there is another the check valve during the extension or a return stroke. The flow is taking place initially till the flow comes out of the this cap. The flow is taking place through this or a check valve allows the free flow to the piston for the extension thereby during the extension initial speed what is there that also it will be reaches but the during the uh, entering towards the cap the it will be decelerated that is during the retraction stroke and here the animation we can see this cylinder uh, piston is having the both sides there is a taper shape and that tapered shape, when it enters to the cap, it will be slowed down and through the restricted path only, the fluid will be flowing that we can see here. Then that will be reduces the speed and the deceleration of the speed is taking place and impact force will not be on the cylinder head. And the whatever the deceleration rate or speed is there, that will be adjusted by using the screw. The screw adjustment also we can see here, the screw adjustment is taking place based on the requirement of the speed okay that's slowing or a deceleration and both the sides in the double acting cylinder the tapering is there and both the side during extension and retraction both side it will be decelerated and during the extension the initially bypassing this one uh, that restricted path through the check wall the flow is taking place and thereby at the initial also there is a speed what is required that we can achieve that we can see from this animation this is about the how the working of this cylinder cushioning is taking place and here also we can see in this drawing the both the ends the tapered surfaces are there these tapered surfaces enters into the cap and thereby the restricted flow will be taking place both side and thereby the whatever this speed is there when it reaches to the cylinder head the speed will be reduced and that is of the cylinder cushioning in most of the cases this cylinder cushioning is used in order to avoid the impact force that we can see here double acting cylinders most of the times contain the cylinder cushions at the ends of the cylinder to slow down the piston near the ends of the stroke this prevents excessive impact when the piston is stopped by the end caps. As shown, deceleration starts when the tapered plunger enters the opening in the cap. 
this restricts the exhaust flow from the barrel to the port. During the last small portion of the stroke, the oil must exhaust through the adjustable opening. The cushion design also incorporates a check valve to allow the free flow to the piston during direction reversal during the extension of each stroke. This is about the hydraulic cylinder cushioning. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe, and comment.